I've been seeing all the comments of you guys asking me to do thanks mastery. Seriously, I've been getting those comments ever since my first ever mastery video on this channel. And I'm so glad I waited because right now, Fang is so broken with his hypercharge. I'm officially going to be the typical random with the sneaker artist mastery title. Literally everyone and their seven year old brother has that title. So I am not a Fang player at all. I've got virtually zero mastery points on him. I'm not even bronze one. I'm less than 700 trophies. This is probably the lowest I've had a brawler before actually starting the mastery grind. But I will also be getting him to the highest trophies I've ever gotten a brawler. That is going to be so much fun. First off, I'm buying Fang's Hypercharge. Fang charges through walls, dropping popcorn on the way. I love popcorn. 25% speed, 20% damage, and 15% extra shield. We're starting off in Knockout Gold Arm Gulch, a classic for Fang since everyone tends to play squishy brawlers here. The beginning is a little rougher, Fang. It's all poke until you get your super. You're just dashing around the map. It's so easy to get a triple kill. You just need your team to hold down for you until you get that super. We're gonna just breeze through the bronze ranks from bronze one and under 700 trophies all the way to silver one and 900 trophies. There's still a long way from silver one to gold three and I'm already at 900 trophies. And you guys know I never like to tilt my trophies for these mastery videos. So at this point, I'm getting a little nervous. But I did find a little cheat to this and I'm putting cheats in quotes because it feels like cheating, but it's not. It's Mega Pig. Mega Pig is 20 games with your club mates. You don't gain or lose trophies from it. Matchmaking is not based on your trophies but if you win, you still get those juicy mastery points. I don't care what the mode is, I don't care what the modifier is, I am picking Fang. Fang's in a state at this point where I can pick him in any mode and any map and make him work for me, especially in Mega Pig. First modifier we got is the snow modifier, where it makes you slightly slow when you walk over it, but I barely notice this modifier and that's great because they put a lot of snow. I'm waiting to use my super because I'm so close to my hypercharge. Now that I have my hypercharge and super, it's time to go to work. And by work, I mean press this purple button. Look at him, look at Fang. His super goes through walls, which makes it so unexpected and gives the enemy no way out. There is nothing you can do. You don't even see it coming. Next round, it's almost overtime and I got my hypercharge again. Somehow I survived through this Colette super. That's it, easy win. Mega pick is so easy. The next modifier we have is Toxic Arena and Gem Grab. I thought the smoke would be coming in all the way like in Showdown, but it only closes in on the sides and not that much. They've got Jackie, Rosa, and Shelly. Fang's not the best in the tanks. You especially don't want to super into a Shelly. But these guys let me cycle my super so many times that I felt like Chuck zooming around the tiny part of the map that's left. Just with these Mega Pig games, I'm already so close to Silver 2. I'm telling you, play Mega Pig for the mastery grind. Last Mega Pig game is Gem Grab with the Power Cube modifier. I need to get used to how the Power Cube symbols look in Gem Grab compared to how they look in Showdown. They're a little different. They actually had a really good comp, a classic comp. There's not much difference between classic and Power Cube mode in Mega Pig, unless somehow someone is able to get like six or seven Power Cubes. Look at the 1v2 with the popcorn. Mega Pig adds so much fun to the mastery grind but i do think it needs better modifiers and just like that i am silver two with fang no trophies gained and no trophies lost in the process moving on we're on this very interesting hot zone map called the great divide it fits perfectly because there's this long patch of grass going all the way across the map i took the middle lane here almost every game i really want to talk about popcorn here popcorn is just so good i'm talking about fang's corn foo gadget Fang throws out popcorn, which does 1,088 damage each. I actually tried counting exactly how much popcorn he throws out. I think it's about 24 pieces of popcorn. Someone please check that for me. But if my very complex calculations are correct, that's 1,088 damage per popcorn times 24 pieces of popcorn. That gives Fang the potential to do 26,000 damage with just that one gadget. Not every single popcorn hits, obviously, but it gives you a high chance of hitting one target multiple times especially if they're moving around i've gotten so many kills just because the enemy is completely ignoring my popcorn it was my first time playing on this map and i absolutely loved it for fang especially with his hypercharge when you get your super you go through any of these walls which are a huge obstacle for most brawlers 
it's so funny and feels so much like cheating when you get your hypercharge and then you super in on someone in either of these zones they have no way to prepare for it they're just done for it's actually extremely crazy how dumb this brawler is and if you don't have your hypercharge use popcorn it spills everywhere and you get a ton of damage if you have vision gear on you can easily see the enemies in the grass using popcorn as well you just got to be really careful of tanks since fang is so weak against them i just try to spot them out with my popcorn before they get too close in the bushes but you can't always spot them it was pretty easy to get star player over and over again on this map i reached 1000 trophies on fang already also brawl stars took away win streaks for a little bit while i was doing this mastery push so i didn't get the extra trophies for win streaks until the very end in this game i'm being very careful at the beginning trying not to run into any of the enemy brawlers because they can very easily kill me on their own surge if he's using his shield gadget rosa because you know she's rosa and sam if he uses the walls to heal up i'm using fresh kick star power which automatically gives you your super again if you defeat someone the other star power divine souls or the shield star power is also really good but i prefer it more not out wipeout or bounty since you really need to prioritize staying alive in those modes fresh kicks is definitely the more fun star power i am running through these guys every time i get my super with fang i don't even have to do much as soon as they come towards me i'm popping my popcorn and going in on them you can see they don't even want to come near me when i'm in the zones with fang i'm using my popcorn gadget to spot out any of the enemies if they're running up through the grass it helps me and my teammates so much because they have nowhere else to go but up or down and because i'm using gadget charge gear i can keep spamming my popcorn the other gear i'm using is damage gear damage gear is just a classic on any brawler and since i'm playing a very aggressive brawler like fang damage is perfect to get those kills a lot easier Although I do own all the gears for Fang because they're all pretty much useful for him, gadget charge and damage is the best. This map is so much fun for Fang, I eventually got to rank 31. As we now know, getting a higher trophy rank means more double brawlers. The very next game, we got double Jackie. Jackie's a little hard for Fang because she does so much damage. But if you and your teammates are constantly chipping her down, it gets a lot easier. My team is just running through these Jackies. I can't believe how much damage Fang does now. Even with his nerfs, it's still so crazy. Alright, there's a monkey in my zone. Miko is a little tricky for Fang because you have to time your shots at the perfect moments. I got destroyed by monkeys so many times before I finally learned how to actually kill him when he's jumping all over you. You have to shoot right when Miko is about to land on you. I kept making the mistake of shooting right when he landed which is kind of dumb because if he has all his shots he will just jump again and again and you'll miss all your shots trying to hit them when he's in the air it took me a while to get used to that but at least i learned i've got one more game until rank 32 and we have double colt as fang colt is not a threat to me at all i am eating up all the colts he can kind of outrange you and he can have more speed than you but all you have to do is close in on the gap between you two. It's pretty easy to do in Haunt Zone because he'll need to stay in the zone and he can't always afford to back off. The closer you are to him, the harder it is for him and it's just over for him. If you've got your super, it's definitely over for him. The Jesse's just kind of there this game. Easy game and I am now at rank 32. I wish win streaks were a thing at this point because I won so many games in a row. I also did get to gold one, but I forgot to record it. <laughs> we get to add the exclusive fang pin to our collection now we're playing fang on gem grab on the map close call we have the legendary tank player pika on our team for some free carries you guys he is so good at playing tanks especially bull so if you want to learn how to play tanks go sub to his youtube it was also my first time playing on this map as well this first game was a hard matchup for me because everyone on the enemy team is a pro player you can't see their names right now because we're all really high trophies but you'll see at the end it actually started off pretty bad for us my entire team went down including me i haven't even got a super at this point they're doing such a good job trying not to feed my super they've got eight gems at this point and we only have two the fact that i have two gems is really unfortunate too because 
because if I get my super and go in on them, I risk dying and giving them the only two gems they need. Literally all I can do is just poke unless one of them overextends. Our Piper goes for the Shelly here who has two gems, so I help out and she goes down to the Piper curveball. Janet's in her spawn for some reason, so I super in on her and take her out. We are finally getting some momentum in this game. You can see Pika going up and dying continuously, but that's actually the right thing to do. Even if he's not getting any kills, because it really helps to push back the enemies and away from the gems. The only thing I can do is poke and use my popcorn to keep them back, and it's working pretty well. Even though I didn't get any major players with Fang this game, I could have completely thrown the game if I did try to get a play. That game brings me to rank 34. Will I actually be getting my first rank 35 in one of these mastery pushes? Let's see. I encountered a few more monkeys, but this time I know exactly how to deal with said monkeys. I got up to a nine game win streak. Oh yeah, win streaks were back, which means I get plus five extra trophies per win as long as I keep winning. So it made the next few trophies so much easier to get. At nine games one in a row, I am finally at rank 35 on Fang, but it's still not over yet. I still have one whole rank to go and a little bit more and I'm still only at gold one. And like I mentioned, you guys know I never tilt my brawlers for these mastery pushes, so we're gonna keep going. I switched teammates every few games, but we kept going. I went on a five game win streak. I actually ended up tilting quite a bit, which was expected. Matchmaking is so long and it gets harder to find teammates at this high up in trophies. I did eventually get to go to on Fang, which means I earn the iconic popcorn icon for Fang. For the last rank, I am playing the most fun mode in Brawl Stars right now. 5v5 Brawl Ball. I honestly messed up my sleep schedule so bad for 5v5 since it came out in the middle of the night where I live, but here we go. I got together a stacked lobby. For this first game, we've got OG, Second, Alec, and Safari. We're going up against a team of three other pro players and their friends. Playing Fang in 5v5 is so broken, not only because of his super, but also his popcorn. Just don't rush into a large group of them or else you will instantly die. It's also very fun because you literally do not know where you will end up half the time. The first map that was out had this huge skating rink in the middle which takes away from quite a bit of the map but it's not that big of a deal with Fang since you can use your super to go across it if you need to. I had a really nice play here even though I didn't hit anyone. I was able to get our team positioning, got a few shots off, used my popcorn and scored the ball. The best brawler on this map is hands down Fang. He is so unstoppable. The way 5v5 works is that the ball can be at the bottom of the map and you might have decided to go to the top if your teammates die at the bottom of the map it doesn't give you much time to move down and defend so you really have to make sure you have all your bases covered and you definitely need to communicate a lot we ended up going on a 21 game win streak at such high trophies i got to 1330 trophies and i'm getting plus five extra trophies every game including star player almost every game which made the climb from gold two to goal three so easy i had some really fun plays with fang so here we are i ended off the push at 1359 trophies my 20th mastery title oh my goodness let's put it on here we go now i can be the typical random with the sneaker artist player title 